First of all, let me show you our translation application. Okay. Basically, it can support many languages by your voice. So we, we can try Chinese to English stuff. Go ahead. I want to invite you to see a film today. Have you seen it? I'd rather not. Oh. I don't want to. Where's the nearest Midland restaurant? Can you buy me to dinner? Where's the nearest Midland restaurant? Can you buy me to dinner? How about Kung Pao Chicken? Kung Pao Chicken has said it. You promised the Kung Pao Chicken. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. This is our smart home solution. Imagine you are sitting in a home. On the couch at home. Yes. 百零百零。打开加湿器。好的，你将您的加湿器打开。That's quite cool. We've got a better stuff. Really? It's black technology. You can really speak and then convert text in in the real time and then translate into different languages. All at the same time. All at the same time. Wow. Yeah. So let me show you. Okay. Let me show you. 今天 NBA 总决赛，勇士赢了，我很不开心。I think LeBron James is really good. Wow, that's really cool. I guess LeBron James will be really happy. He has fans in China. I think they will be better next year. Okay. All right. But seriously, we should now talk about what's going to happen with AI. Yeah, let's talk. Earlier, you demonstrated quite a number of technologies that you have been using and also make it really available in a very massive market. Your company is very young. We just had our 18th birthday, you know, uh, a couple of days ago. Yeah. So we just treated it very preciously because uh, we think 18 is the age to, to go to like a growing man. But you think about it, 18 years ago and now, huge difference. Exactly. Yes, um, we can feel the wave of popularity of the terms speech. Maybe some of the company just cannot survive uh, because of the vision or some of the uh, actions um, may be harmful for the, for the company. Mm -hmm. But for our uh, company, we think we've got our vision. We think uh, definitely speech is the user in the ultimate uh, user interface mm -hmm. in, in the future. But we have to survive, right? In 2004, we, we got break even. But how we do that, we have to do some uh, system integration things to make us uh, survive. And then we put all the profits into the R&D. Mm -hmm. That's to make the, the wheels going on and on. Of course, the Chinese market is enormous. We see the benefits of that demonstrated, let's just say, by WeChat, for example, which is now going everywhere. With this kind of application advantages in the Chinese market, you do have certain competitive edge. But on the other hand, how much can you really maintain by only following and observing what the others are doing and therefore ap apply it to the Chinese market? <laughs> you know, in China, domestically, we have to face BAT, I mean, to be frank. But uh, we think we are differentiating. We were the startup company 10 years or 15 years ago. But we have to wait about 15 years now. Everybody think speech conversational interface is coming because of the AI technology. So mm, now and many, many companies think AI is the hotspot. So everybody proposed their right. <laughs> concept <laughs> with the AI things will make them more advanced yeah. or make them popular. I mean, but we are still solid. Uh, we are very confident in what we are doing. So for those companies, we think they are a surfing company. So like surfing the wave. What about your international competition? Uh, we think Amazon, Google is doing great and we, we are learning uh, creating the ecosystem and doing very detailed and uh, user-friendly uh, interface and solutions for the end users and also we know Chinese better so that's why we're learning from them on the other hand we want to go globally mm -hmm. but how we can do that so we think Belt and Road Initiative is one of the choice uh, wait, 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 wait. everybody say Belt and Road Initiative is a solution no. but, but but how exactly that's gonna happen from our perspective we think language is the barrier to communicate. So we can provide the language support 
tools that we are very good at speech technology. Mm -hmm. So, uh, for example, we are having our multinational uh, voice cloud in Xinjiang to provide the language support uh, among the Western, Western Asian area. So uh, it will help to increase social activities and also the economic aspects mm -hmm. in that area. And after the Western Asia, we, we can have more joint lab with the Middle East and also the East Europe mm -hmm. so that we can deliver more and more capabilities towards the language translation thing. I think the significance of doing this is not only for um, supporting the initiative, but also for us to find a way to be in a step of the globalization. Mm. This is one thing. The second point is we establish our cooperation in the state to maintain the highest level of scientific research. Mm -hmm. uh, also, we are trying some uh, uh, subsidiaries uh, operating locally in certain territory, mm -hmm. like Japan, like Singapore. Where Advantages, disadvantages compared to some of your international competitors? Well, um, firstly, I think the US um, or the multinational companies are pretty good at scientific research and also the engineering technologies. But in China, we think our innovation is more related to client needs and also increasing efficiency. So we think if Chinese companies can focus more on the innovation dri driven by applications, that will give us more advantages compared to other multinationals. What do you make of the future? Where is it going to be? AI plus, because human have their own lifestyle and also they have their jobs and they also have to have services from the society. So that divided into two sub-concepts. One is AI plus lifestyle and the other one is AI plus vertical industries. Mm -hmm. So you will need a better assistant in education, a good, good teacher, uh, or you will have a better uh, health care. And also you may need a better lawyer. So in the future, that will be the market and also the future of our mission. Uh, this is one thing. The other one thing is that when you are home, when you are studying, or, or when you are driving, so that's your personal life. So we, we also have to uh, have the mission to change the way of human interaction with uh, machines. How far are we talking about here? Uh, now we are talking about 10 years. So we have already been made many progresses in the vertical industries. Mm -hmm. And after the, after the increase of the hotspot of the AI, and the technology is going to be better than ever.